Hello everybody and welcome back to another Let's Try to Fix It video. In today's video we have this Vicky or Vissi 8145 multimeter. This is a desktop or benchtop multimeter. Uh, it's handy instead of having a handheld you can just leave it on the bench. I purchased this so I could have it in the workshop and have a dedicated multimeter and it's got a number of features on here uh, that make it quite quite nice and for the price it's you just can't beat it although the unit does have a number of issues and we're about to get into that and look at how we can solve those so the first issue is that this thing beeps a lot and I mean a lot anytime you press any of the function buttons beep continuity mode beep when you go into the voltage mode and you have it set to auto if it's outside of the range of that auto detect and it has to go up another range it will beep as well so it just beeps all the bloody time second issue is the backlight doesn't turn on by default it's always off and you manually have to press the uh, backlight button here to turn the backlight on so we're going to be looking at two different ways we can approach this so the first way is we're going to fix this backlight problem and the second thing we're going to do is try and restrict that buzzer so it generally only works on uh, continuity mode. Fortunately, a number of users over at EV Blog have come up with some fixes for these issues. And just to show you uh, what these issues are like, I'm going to turn the unit on. Now it is going to beep, so headphone warning. Now you can see it beep there a number of times. So if we want to put the backlight on, we just have to press the button. And we have to do that every time we turn the unit on, which doesn't sound too bad, but it gets annoying when you've got it on and off all day. And then, of course, the beeping issues, if we go into any mode, it'll just beep away. So we'll try and sort those two problems. And as I said, I'll do two separate videos. So the first issue will be covering the backlight. Uh, the second video will be covering the beeper fix. So let's get into the backlight fix. First, we've got to pull this unit apart, so let's get to that now. Oh yeah, there we go. Check out that chunky boy. We are inside. What an absolutely massive PCB here. Got the transformer. Um, some switching stuff for the power supply so you can literally see the button just pushes against this spring here it is strange why this unit had to be so deep i wonder if we can possibly you know 3d print a new enclosure for this and keep it really minimalist because really it only needs to be half the size it actually is Let's see if we can get this front panel off and it looks like they've actually glued the connectors in here there we go. So we shouldn't need any of this as far as I'm aware. We'll have to take this out of the case. So for the backlight more, the area of focus is here. Basically what we want to do is rotate this resistor 90 degrees and then we're going to run a wire from the tra from that resistor over to the resistor here. So I'm going to see if we can do this without hot air because we don't want to damage the display behind this board. And I think we should be able to. Ah, oh, that came off with nearly no effort at all. Alright, so we rotate this 90 degrees, like so, just going to add a bit more solder to that. Right. 
and then we're going to run a wire. Here, I'm a bit of a strange thing, aren't we? Yeah. And I'm going to wire it to this side of the resistor and add some more solder to that. There we go, just like that. Just gonna clean that up. All right, so that is in essence the backlight mod done. So I'm going to reassemble the device now so you can see it. All right, let's power on the unit. So you can see here, backlight's coming straight away. Push the backlight button. We can turn it off. So that's the first mod done. So stay tuned for the next video. We're going to take it apart again and we're going to solve this constant buzzing problem. So I'll see you in the next one.